Hi guys, good morning. My name is Nisarga Kadam and I am here with a new video on UiPath. Now in this video, I will tell you how to extract information from an invoice PDF and store all that information in an Excel or CSV format. Now let us get started with our demonstration today. So I'll start UiPath application. I have a version 2019.10. I hope you all have updated version of UiPath, which is a community edition. I'm using community edition version of UiPath. Okay, so this is the first page that you see once you launch UiPath application. Now let's create a process. I clicked on a process and I'll give it a name as um, PDF to Excel. And in the description, I'll mention um, invoice extraction and saving details in Excel format. Great, I'll create this workflow. Once you click on create, all the dependencies are restored and it creates a workflow in UiPath. Now automatically, a white space canvas is created for you. Now you can see the screen. On the screen, click on the open main workflow because we want main workflow to be get open. Yep. Now you can see this is a white screen, which is your canvas where you need to drag and drop the activities. Now, if you can see on the left hand side, you have a panel, which is project panel. At the bottom, you have activities panel. Click on the activities panel and now drag a sequence inside this workflow canvas. Now you have a sequence inside. Now just keep the invoice PDF open. Uh, just besides whatever the PDF or let any PDF that you want to open and now make sure that this PDF is open in Adobe Acrobat Reader because we want to read each and every information out of this PDF and we want to store it. So in order to read this information, we have to open it in Adobe Acrobat Reader and you don't have to open it in any Chrome browser or any other application. Just make sure that. Now again, come back to UiPath. The first thing that we want to do is we want to store all this information in a Excel file. So what is Excel file? It's a data table. All the information inside Excel is stored in the format of tabular way. So we need rows, we need columns and we need headers. So all that information is called as a data table. That is why we need to first of all, create a data table in order to store all this information. So we will drag one activity, which is called as build data table activity. I will drag it inside sequence. Now in this build data table activity, you have a data table wizard. Click on this data table wizard. Delete all the existing rows and all the existing columns. Okay. And now just put all the information that we want to fetch from this PDF. Now I want invoice number, order number, invoice date, due date, total due, address of sender and business name. Okay. Let's create rows. So first of all, I'll delete everything. Then I'll click on this plus button. It allows me to create a new column. Now my first column is invoice number. So I'll just make sure an invoice underscore number type a string and I don't want any default value. So it's in the maximum length minus one. Uh, that means you have a maximum length and you can store any type, any length of string inside this particular data, data column. Click on okay. Invoice number is added. Now similarly add multiple columns. So let's say order number, not order number. Yeah. Order number. Then it's also string. Then I want invoice date underscore sorry for typing mistake yeah so if you can see i have added invoice number order number invoice date and now i am on due date and total due so let's add a few more columns due underscore date and uh, total due wow so till now I have added five different columns. Now I need the information of the sender and then the name of the business. So let's say I'll add sender address and one more variable, which is one more column, sorry, which is uh, this name, sorry. Name. Great. So I have all the seven 
different different columns which is ready and all are string great now make sure that all the rows are deleted and click on okay so once you click on okay just check whether all the seven are present or not click on the delete table again and let's see all seven columns are created great now in order to store this information we need to create a variable of data table type where do we create this variable now click on the build data table activity and inside output data table click on this text panel and say right click create a variable now give it a name as invoice dd you can give any type of name i have i am giving invoice dd save it and now check in the variables panel whether this invoice dt is created or not it is created of system dot data dot data table type great now we have created a data table with the column names and now we need information to fill in this particular columns so first thing that we need to do is need to keep this pdf file open so let's go and let us say we need to get this information so to get information we have get text activity so drag this get text activity here and now what this activity says this activity is indicate on screen to grab the element so click on indicate on screen and then click on this invoice number great now it has captured this invoice number now let's say in the output panel of this get text i need to store the invoice number which we have captured from screen so i'll say right click create a variable i will say invoice number now this is nothing but a variable which is going to be a generic variable not a data table variable so if you go to variables panel you will be able to see invoice number is created which is a generic data type variable and then after that i need six more information so i will drag six more get text activities so let's say copy and i will just copy paste the activities 1 2 3 4 5 6 8 great so i have captured invoice number then i will capture order number i will create a variable for order number as right click create variable order this code number similarly in my indicate on screen indicate the invoice date now this date i will indicate as right click create a variable say uh, invoice underscore day great save similarly i want due date so i will indicate the due date so can't you see this is really easy you just have to indicate because it is opened in adobe acrobat reader it is very easy to indicate if you open it in chrome browser or any other application this pdf won't be that easy to capture data this is due date save i am just creating variables because i am capturing this information from screen so i have to create variables to store this information now i want this total due i'll just select this total due and i'll mention here as i click create a variable total underscore due great information stored indicate again and this time i want the address so i'll just select complete address and i'll say in my ui path that this is my right click create a variable senders address great and last but not least we want the name of the business so i'll just indicate this test business element and right click here create a variable and say test underscore business oh sorry i want to change the name of the variable so i can go to variables panel now you can see all the variables that you have created till the time inside get text activities all are created here if i want to change the name of the latest last get text activity because i give it by mistake as a test business so let's check this test business and change it from here so i'll change it to business name and it is automatically changed here great now i will save this information and now all this variables i need to pass as a row to this data table which we have created so in order to pass this as a row we need one activity which is add data row this is as simple as that so just drag this add data row activity now this add data row activity demands two things one is the data table and another one is array so we know the data table is invoice dt okay we have given the name because we have created the data table called as invoice dt front and in the array row i will click on this three dots if you can see it opens the expression editor here inside curly braces i will mention the elements so what are all the elements that we have captured 
you have to give the name of the variables as it is. So first variable is invoice uh, number. Yep. Then order number. Then invoice date. Where is invoice date? Then order date. Sorry, there is due date. Then total due. Then business or the sender's address. And then there is where is that business name? Great. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different variables because we created seven columns. Now, can you see there is a dot automatically added in front of the variable name? Remove that dot because it creates object and we don't want object. We want the value inside the variable. So I'll just remove this all dots from start and make sure that all these things are written in curly braces. Okay. Because it is array of variables. Okay. Now save it and done. Now, in order to check whether the data table is present or not, we want to print this data table in some format, right? So let's try to print it in both the formats. So we will create for creating a CSV activity. We will say create CSV. Okay. Let's say write CSV. Yes. So we have write CSV activity, drag it below add data row. Now what write CSV activity demands is the name of the CSV. Do I have any CSV file in my project? So go to project panel, refresh it and check whether do you have any, go to the file folder location. So you have only main and the project JSON. You don't have any CSV. Okay. So let's create one in double quotation, give invoice underscore data dot CSV. You have to give extension also. And the data table is invoice DD. Save. Now this will create a CSV for us. And in order to create an Excel activity, Excel application, Let's say we need Excel application scope. Drag this Excel application scope. If you don't have this activity, Excel application scope, please go to manage packages and search official package for Excel. UiPath.excel.activities. Install it from here. It is already installed for me. And after installing, you will see this Excel application scope activity in your activities panel. Now in this Excel application scope, similarly, we don't have any Excel, which is already there. So we will create one. Let's give it a name as invoice information dot Excel SX. Oh, something is wrong. Okay. Great. Save. Now all this data table information we want to write inside Excel, right? So we have write range activity, drag it inside Excel application scope. Do in sheet one from a one column, I need to write data table, which is invoice DD. And that's it. So what we have done till now, we first of all have created a build data table inside that we have created seven different, different columns as per our convenience, what information we want to bring. After that, we got all this information is in get text, keeping PDF file open of the invoice. Then we added add data row activity inside add data row. We pass all the variables in a array and the name of the data table. After that, we created write CSV and Excel application. And both the things are not there present inside my current folder location. So let me see where is the location. Let's go to project panel, open the file folder location and files are not yet created. Let's see when we execute what happens. So keep the PDF file open and let's hit run. A white colored UI path robot will appear if you can see at the bottom in the panel and this features information and then it created CSV and Excel application. Sorry, Excel file. So it is taking its time to extract data. It is storing all the data into different, different variables, then writing those variables inside CSV and Excel. Oh, great. So our workflow is done. It took how much time? It took 20 seconds to read all this information. Now refresh the project location, go to the file folder location. And if you can see invoice data and invoice information, one Excel file, one CSV file has been created. So this is our CSV file. Let's open the CSV and let's check. So those who don't have Microsoft Excel installed can create CSV and those who do who have Microsoft Excel installed can create a Excel file. So that's why I have shown you both. Great. So now if I can keep it here and let me select the PDF. So if you can see all the information is fetched perfectly invoice number, great order number, great invoice date, great 25th of Jan, 2016, 31st Jan, 2016, great 
total due address. Now let's check sender's address is perfectly cached or not. Suit 5A till the email address. Great. And we have captured name of the business also. So we have captured all the information in CSV file. Let's check our, oh, don't save. Let's check our Excel file. So I will open my Excel file. So Excel is nothing but text heavy and its size is huge. And also it needs Microsoft Excel application. That is why I have shown you CSV also as an option. So I'll keep it this side and in this side, I'll open the PDF. Now let's check in Excel file. You have all the information captured. Inverse number, order number, date, total due, and this. But we don't have first row, which is a column name headers. Why? Because in our workflow, while writing the range, we did not select this add headers checkbox. So check this add headers checkbox, save it, and this time it will show you the workflow. So in this workflow, I have shown you how to capture information from PDF and store it into Excel file. I hope you use it for your workflow and let me know if you like this video. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.